Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing the Bit Summit demo for World of Horror. This is an upcoming horror game inspired by Junji Ito, and it's like an RPG retro aesthetic, kind of real offbeat stuff, and I've been keeping an eye on it for a while. I actually played it at PAX last year, I think, but I had known about it before then. I was kind of waiting for something a little more developed to be out before I made a video on it. So, I think this is as good time as any. Let's go ahead and start the demo. City of U, Japan, 1980-something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening up as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. So, if you've ever played Arkham Horror, the board game, Lovecraft type of stuff, it, from what I played, it kind of reminded me a bit of that and how things work. There's like a sanity mechanic and different stats that you can use to like take actions. It's honestly pretty tough for me to describe this game, but hopefully you'll just be able to pick it up as you watch. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. Hooray! Get me in there. The story so far. Mimi, a cursed transfer student, stays late at school to investigate the case of her missing friend. Little does she know, she's not alone in the building. Uh, I can't help but notice the foreboding scissors on the right that already have blood on them. Anyway, let's go in. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. Over here on the right, we got, what, 17 health, I guess, and then 17 sanity, six strength, five dexterity, seven personality, eight knowledge, seven charisma, for find? I'm guessing that's what that is. I wish I could click to find out what exactly the stats are. Good news, guys. We don't have any active rituals. Bad news, we don't have a weapon or any items of any kind. <laughs> but this is us, apparently. This is Mimi. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As Doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. Our town has stopped receiving any outside signal. It's just a radio mass failure, right? Looks like that fire's coming from the nursery. It recently burned down. There's a giant hole where the Kaibara mansion once stood. You couldn't save your friend, but you are relieved the horror is over. It's just that easy, guys. All right, how do we get started with this? You've been following the weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Uh... Okay, I don't remember a skin hag, but I guess this is the demo, so it's putting us in in the middle of the story. Let's put the combat tutorial on and start the mystery. Spine-chilling story of school scissors! Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. So it's, it's Scissor Woman. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. Yeah, how'd that go, idiot? After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Oh, but we have no active rituals. We need to, we need to gather the supplies for the ritual. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. I know my big head is kind of in the way of some things, but like I can't put it on the right side. I'd be blocking all the stuff over there. 
We can access our storage, explore the school, perform the ritual, check out school lockers. Hell, let's just perform the ritual. The ritual is not ready. Okay, fine. Well, uh, we can't check out the school lockers. Can we? Oh! We're in the locker room. There's different sigils on these lockers. You need a tiny key to open this locker. What about this one? You found an item, wooden bat. Awesome. Do I, do I put it maybe in slot A? <laughs> I like how it has to load the menu. So this is a blunt two-handed item, strength-based. Damage is four. It's slightly dusty though. I don't know if I want to use a slightly dusty wooden bat. Equip. So we have a wooden bat equipped. We finally have a weapon, that's good. What happened? What, what is that? <laughs> What's that? It says at the bottom. I don't know, did we take some damage? We did! No, our sanity took a hit. It was at 17 earlier, now it's at 16. Let's stay away from that locker. Instead, let's explore the school. <laughs> there we are. New event, gym doll. Upon entering the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Okay, we don't have the anatomy class perk to choose something different, so I guess we're gonna come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach. What you see causes you to gasp in terror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. Excuse you. So, the brain on the right side of, uh, Mimi over here, that's actually our reason. So we lost two reason from that. Yeah, resolve the event, I guess. Let's see, we need to find blessed chalk and holy candles. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Okay, can I, can I click on the screen or is it just, it's just visuals only. Okay, let's explore school some more. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin. Hmm. Mesmerized by spirals. What's the worst that could happen? You step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Oh, wait, what? Are we fighting? During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring, B. Where? Is this the action ring over here? Okay. Once you've filled the sequence bar, C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so we got the sequence bar and we have moves that we can fill it up with. Okay, we can attack without a weapon. How do we attack with a weapon? Because we do have a wooden bat. I want to hit it with the bat though. How do I hit it with the bat? It's not on the wheel. It's on the action wheel, action ring. Whatever, let's just kick it three times. Ow, turn two begins. Hang on a second. Okay, we've got, wait, we've got more now. Okay guys, I'm down here now so you can read what's above my head. We can attack with the wooden bat now. We can also do a strong attack, which does slightly more damage. We can also prepare our attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Or we can do an attack boost. Wow. Or we, there's also, if we have a gun, we can shoot at it, but we don't have a gun. Okay, it takes 120 time to swing with the strong attack. We have 200 to work with, and then it costs 40, so I should prepare my attack, and then do a strong attack. Wait, I can't do launch sequence. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. But first, you will need a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Okay, well, we've already got the wind bat, so I've already got one. Fine, let's just say, let's just say let's look for, let's look for a weapon. Launch sequence. Did I find one? 
Oh, I found a broken bottle. What a massive improvement over the wooden bat. At least the broken bottle is not slightly dusty. Okay, I've equipped the broken bottle. We're gonna get super trashy on this dude. Hit him over the head with a broken bottle. Okay, I'm gonna do four attack boosts, prepare my attack, and then I'm gonna do a strong attack with the broken bottle. You're never gonna see this coming. Bam! Did I hit him? There's so many things on the screen. So, these are his stats, right? Four HP, did I do damage? Let's just, let's try it again, and I'll, I'll keep a closer eye this time. I got him! Wait, what's that? You found an item, lump of flesh. Cool. What? Oh, it's medicine! Plus five stamina, flip this card. It's undulating slowly. What a Lovecraftian word, undulating. Okay, resolve combat. Yeah, we kicked its ass, okay? Don't, don't think anything of it. So, now I have an extra action, I can peek outside. Let's peek outside. Wait, you found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. Let's take a peek outside first. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse. Oh! Let's keep that closed. Let's go explore the school. I don't want to deal with whatever the hell that is. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors, it says at the top. Yeah, no shit. Okay, let's explore the school. We're investigating the library. You enter the damp smelling sports swing. In the middle of the swimming pool, you notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board. Could it be the thing you were looking for? Enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming toward the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Bloated teacher. <laughs> Let's smash a ball over his head, dude. Let's search for a new weapon. Look for an improvised weapon. Okay. One sequence. Ow. Wait. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. All right, let's see what happens when we do attack boost, attack boost, attack, attack boost, attack boost, attack. Let's see if that's more effective. Okay. We did three damage per hit there. Ah, uh, bloated teacher's kind of kicking our ass a little bit. Mimi's got some scratches on her face. I'm not sure how. Are you scratching us up? Okay, well, good news. This should do three damage per hit. Let's launch the sequence. Bloated teacher. Oh, I missed one of them. Oh no, I missed one of them. Okay, okay, we'll do the guaranteed hit this time. Launch sequence. Got him. Okay, you've defeated bloated teacher, plus seven XP. You've found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Well, we still gotta find the, the candles, right? Redraw sigil. Oh my god. Look, you can redraw the sigil. What was the design? It should be correct now. Are you sure? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Well, what, what sigil am I looking for, though? Let's go ahead and explore the school some more. We've got... We've got some time, I mean. What is that? New event, park guest. <gasps> Hi. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. All right, first of all, let's equip the wooden bat cuz I'm tired of having the broken bottle on our hands. Um what was the design? I don't... I honestly don't know. Was I supposed to find it? We've got to find the holy candles still, though. Access storage. Do you have... Look in the friend's diary. You've, re you've retrieved an item from storage. We should have done this in the first place. A strange tall woman has been following me all day. I must hurry up, I think is what the first entry says. 
Uh, Meru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. This sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Okay. I can't read that scribble. Come on. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. We gotta get to one of the classrooms. I hope they're okay. I'm sure your well wishes will get them through it, Mimi. Wait, I want to redraw the sigil. Oh no. I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. That sigil is wrong. Well, we can't do anything without the holy candles anyway, so let's look around. You are stopped by a tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lip. I'll be your new biology teacher. <laughs> Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? We could help her or decline. We're not doing this. Decline! She suddenly grabs your wrist. Oh, I insist. Minus two reason. No, no, we can't choose ooh. Help her. Luck check failure. The weird substitute teacher hands you old and dusty biological specimens. Formalin jar's rancid smell almost makes you drop it. Should fetuses have so many legs? Minus two stamina. Ah, you found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Great. But like, we need to draw the correct sigil, which I didn't do. How do I redraw it? How do I redraw it? Do I just hit perform the ritual and I can change it? Wait, what's that? The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Oh, this is based on, uh, what, Kuchisake Ona? Right? The scissor... scissor woman? Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? <laughs> there she is. Okay, we got this. Listen, I got a lump of flesh. I think I want to use it. Let's use it. Did we gain some stamina from that? Oh, just five stamina. Okay, uh, right. Well, let's prepare our attack. Okay, so I did a prepare attack, attack, and then I did three attack boost attack. Let's see what that does. It's got 26 HP? Okay, all right. You know what? I think this is, this is a pretty good sequence we got going. You bash scissor woman, horror, oh no. We're suffering, uh, <laughs> we're suffering damage to our reason. That's not good. Um, hmm. We got her down to 10 HP though. So we've done 16 damage. So we do about eight damage per turn. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get away with this. Go down to two HP, oh! Okay, we've got four health and one reason. We just need to get one hit in, which we've got a guaranteed hit here, so I assume this'll do it. <laughs> We killed the scissor woman. Resolve combat. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The only thing left of her are the large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something tells you, you want to keep them. You need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors and your mouth widens in a smile. Spine chilling story of school scissors ending B. I see, okay. So, so ending B is when you draw the wrong sigil, surely. Okay, I got it this time. So that was the World of Horror demo. I'm gonna try it again, see if I can get ending A. Now that I understand it a bit better. All right, first, let's access storage. Check out the friend's diary. Has the sigil changed? I think it might have, but I think I know what that is. Okay. That's the most important thing, is we gotta get the sigil correct during the ritual. So let's go ahead and explore the school. 
Investing in the schoolyard. I want to see if we get different random events. Trophy case. You find an old trophy case set in seemingly no longer used corridor. Everything is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Uh, we don't have the tiny key item. Oh, I also don't have my bat. Damn. Break the window to grab it. Check plaques and trophies. Let's play it safe. Let's check the plaques and trophies. Luck check failure. You find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand champion of the cannibal eating contest, 1956, minus two reason. We witnessed the horror. <laughs> okay. Uh, explore some more. I guess we're going impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. We do not have the Akumi ally. Let's stare in disbelief then. How is this possible? Minus one reason. Come on, Mimi. Okay. You find an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. Who left it up there? Let's peek outside. Let's peek outside. Ah! <laughs> Explore school. Okay, we're investigating the gym. Go to the roof. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk getting noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Should we try to sneak or run? Let's try to sneak. Dexterity check failure. You raise your hand and you, <laughs> you raise your head in time to see Af Yola's single eye glare down at you. You scream as your mind becomes flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin becomes etched with ancient runes and curses. Ooh, look at her! She's got <laughs> she's got runes and stuff around her eye. Plus 20 experience plus curse. Well, we got the blessed shock, right? Okay, hang on. We gotta redraw this thing. This is not correct. I think that's right. That's it. That's the right one. Let's check friend's diary. Look at that. That's definitely correct. It matches up. Okay, that's correct. Let's go ahead and explore the school some more. See if we can get the, the chalk. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with the fruit knife in their hands. Oh, this is the same one. Oh, okay, so this is like the formaldehyde thing. All right, let's search for an improvised weapon. Cause we don't have one, uh, it's a broken bottle. Let's equip it, put it on. Seems like going for the double attack strategy yields the most damage, but I could be wrong. You do two boosts and then one regular attack. There's about six damage per turn. Here we go. Guaranteed hit. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. Found a lump of flesh. Okay, so we can get our health back later. Sound of scissors is getting louder. Let's go to the library, I guess. Oh, it's this black doll again. Come closer. Okay, so same event. We did find the candles though. Let's perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Wait. Oh, this one's different. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. And our reason is nine, so that's not good. Okay, so this one's not glitched like the last one was. The good news is it only has 20 HP. The glitched one had 26, so. Uh, I missed twice. Oh, come on. Okay, I got that one. I got that one. Whoa, she did four reason damage. You sustained a new injury, slit mouth. No, you feel your cheeks split in half. Oh no, we might not get it this time. I'll try my best. I mean, this is the most efficient attack pattern I can find. 
Oh, this is bad. How do you... Uh, it's just bad luck that we don't have enough reason to... get through this. What happens when you hit zero reason? Two HP. Damn it. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? This is ending C. Ah, uh, that's because we hit minus one reason. That is too bad. Click anywhere to continue. Oh, okay. Why send me to the abyss screen right there? I want back in. Ah, oh, the sigil changes every time. So we got upside down triangle and then, yeah, that little thing. I'll be able to remember that. Okay, before we go anywhere, let's go check out the school lockers. This one has the one bad in it every time, it seems like. That one needs the tiny key, and then I'm not gonna open that one. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, explore the school and just see what random events we can get, I guess. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside stands an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. In the grand scheme of things, that's not so bad. Okay, and I almost forgot to whew, equip the wooden bat. Let's go ahead and explore some more. Oh, it's this one. We don't have the anatomy class perk, so minus two reason for us. Should we peek outside? Doesn't seem to be any reason to do it. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek outside. Ah! <laughs> Explore! <laughs> Explore school. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. In the other, a pair of bloody scissors. What? Oh, you, no, 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 no. Oh, this is Maru, marked by the scissor lady. Oh, so she's not actually the scissor lady herself. All right. Doing the tried and true method here. Actually. Oh, I can do three attacks? That's weird. Oh, I missed my last one. Well, whatever. I'll take it. Found the blessed shock. Okay, now we gotta we gotta draw it correctly. Is it that? Yeah, I, I guess it would have to be that, right? Even though the triangle's all wrong, there's there's no other one that matches. So it's gotta be that. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll explore. We just gotta find the candles now. Okay, we gotta help her. Or do we? Let's help her. Luck chance success. The weird substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus five experience. Okay, that went fairly well. We gotta find the holy candles. Trophy case. Let's break the window and grab it. Minus one stamina, plus one funds. You break the glass window, hurting yourself a little bit in the process. The metal is not made of gold, but you'll be able to sell it with ease. Huh. Okay, let's perform the ritual. So we did it correctly, right? Yeah, 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 we did it correctly, okay. She's got 20 HP, so not a big deal. So I could just do triple attack. There we go, two hits. Okay, two hits, one miss. Not bad, not bad. I'll just attack three times per turn. I missed the attack. I missed, I missed all three attacks. Okay, no, no, no. We're not doing that then. Okay, we're doing two attacks per turn. There we go. The old standby. Oh, four stamina, four reason, damn, okay. There we go. <laughs> Defeated Scissor Woman, plus 15 XP, all right. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. That was ending A. So, we got endings A, B, and C for the demo. Cool. Is there an ending D? 
I mean, ending B, you draw the wrong sigil. Ending A, you draw the right sigil. Ending C, you get killed. So I don't see how there could be another ending for the demo. So I think, I think I'm gonna put all endings in the title of the video. That's how you get the clicks. YouTube 101 with John. Uh, oh, what's this thing? Oh, look at that, game runs, three. And then it tells me there. Successful rituals two, failed rituals one. Is there an ending D? It only has A, B, and C listed. I think either way I'm gonna end it here. I don't wanna spoil too many of the random events for when the game actually comes out. But uh, yeah, this is a really unique game. I think it's a bit confusing at first. There's a really cluttered UI and there's a lot to look at and read. <laughs> and I think it, it takes some time getting used to. Like once I got in, it was, it was fine, but I feel like it could be simplified a little bit. I think the, the barrier to entry with the game is is already a little high just based on how it looks. You know, I, I like how it looks. You know, I love the art style and everything. The music, I think it's great, but it it might be a little tough for people to get into and then that compounded with uh, the UI and everything. I mean, the, the combat tutorial is a little lacking. From what I could tell, the combat tutorial was two pop-ups. <laughs> oh, I do want to show you guys something. Under options, you can change the uh, color palette. I had it on Abyssal, right? But this is the this is the default, just black and white. But I wanted a little bit of color in there. So I thought this was cool. Um, there's a bunch of them though. Some of them, like uh, old school Game Boy over here. <laughs> I don't think I could look at that for too long, personally. Some of these also are just like kind of unpleasant like monolith I love red and black I thought about going with uh let's see where is it omen let me find it but it's cool that there's so many like different styles you can find one that suits your fancy right so I thought that was neat there's some questions I have about the full game that the demo can't really answer such as uh, what's the difficulty curve gonna be like in the full game you know going from scenario to scenario to scenario uh, do, do, does damage carry over from one scenario to the next? What's the level up system like? Will you be able to save in between scenarios or are you gonna have to do it all in one run, kind of like a roguelike system? There's just a lot of what ifs, but I, I am going to be watching it closely and when it comes out, I can't wait to see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, that was World of Horror. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like Junji Ito, HP Lovecraft, you probably really enjoyed it, so let me know in the comments. And if you want to play it for yourself, which I highly recommend, there probably were many random events that I did not get in this video, uh, check out the link in the description. It's posted up for free. So, happy hunting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically. Hey guys, trying a new thing at the end of the video. If you liked World of Horror, I also recommend From Next Door, it's also inspired by Junji Ito, and Fear and Hunger, a dark fantasy RPG. There will be links to both of these at the end of the video.